don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video. All right, on to the vlog. It's 7.30 in the morning, y'all. Good morning! How your baby daddy your sister your and I'm doing? And you're happy too. How y'all living fam? It is Saturday up in this B y'all and I hope you guys are having a great day or night whenever y'all are watching this vlog. Y'all thumbs up for that. Be right back. <laughs> Gotta get that coffee y'all. Parent life, honey. Parent life. Oh, thank you so very much. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. All right, and you're good. Thank you. Enjoy. Hi. Have a, Have a good one, guys. Have a good Father's Day weekend. I will. Thank you so much. Have a I'll good weekend. Like anyway, y'all. Sorry about the uh, interruption. I just pulled up on a star beezies. Look, your girl had to get out this morning because I had to head to the bank before they closed and they have early hours, even though it's Saturday. I'm talking about earlier than most banks hours. So I had to rush out, go to the bank real quick. And I figured on the way back, I would go ahead and stop by a star beezies, get both of us some coffees, okay? Cause we were up pretty late. Actually juice wasn't really up. It was me that was up, but y'all saw last night we were up at three in the, af three in the afternoon, three in the morning tending to the kiddos but he actually fell asleep so much earlier than I did so he's pretty well rested it was me that kind of stayed up a little later I was watching Orange is the New Black don't know if you know this but Juice refuses to watch it because he feels like it is one of the worst shows he has ever watched he feels like it's just a bunch of bull uh, y'all gonna have to let me know what y'all think because there's been several seasons so any of you any of you guys have been watching you guys know we've been watching for a while but he refuses he absolutely refuses to watch it but because it's on and because there's times that Jalen gets up or whatever and I have to tend to her I'm like ah, and then you know kind of disrupts your sleep and it kind of puts me back to sleep so I'm like and you know we have the TV in the bedroom so I'm like let me go ahead and just start watching the new season I'm not done with it yet I'm only I think four episodes in but I keep falling asleep so I keep having to go back an episode to catch the last part of it anyway y'all will have to let me know down below what you guys think of the new season of orange the news is the new black is it better is do I need to be expecting much holla at your girl let me know anyway I'm gonna go ahead and head to the crib I got a ways to go and uh, I got some breakfast sandwiches for us as well we're gonna be heading to the gym today and yeah and I have part of my little uh, Father's Day surprise today too so I'm really 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 excited about that that's part of the reason why I had to go to the bank because I, I wanted to get cash and do all of that you know what I mean get that all out the way so that tonight we can have some fun made it back to the crib and uh, I'm over here with curious George mr. man over here he's over here trying to reach and grab for everything y'all it is so flipping cute and this is the reason why I always disinfect all of our, my stuff like my phone my <laughs> iPad and stuff because they grab on this stuff all the time Y'all, the one thing I don't want, and I know it's easier said than done because we live in a world of technology, but the one thing I've always said, and for those of you guys that are longer term subscribers, young, longer term fam bam, you guys have heard me talk about this when it comes to, or when it came to my nephew. I do not want my kids like just on iPads and iPhones as their entertainment, you know what I mean? Or sitting in front of the TV playing video games on a regular basis. Y'all know Juice has video games, so it's gonna be part of you know, their upbringing for sure because he plays video games, he plays 2K17 or whatever. And so you guys know he's gonna get Jax at the very least to do that. But I want them to play outside. I want them to be at the pool. You know what I mean? I want them to be really active. And so the one thing that I'm picking up on is because if I have my, you know, one hand free, I'm texting from my phone or I'm, you know, adding things to my calendar or to my to-do list from, you know, on my phone while I've got them like this or they're sitting on me or whatever. And Here, baby, here. You can have it. There you go. 
But yeah, they grab my phone and they're trying to play with the, the buttons. They know, you know, how to kind of tap the phone to make it do something. So they've been doing that a lot. Like I'll have my phone in my hand and they'll swipe and like send the text before I've even had a chance to finish it. Or like literally, I mean, it's crazy how kids pick up on stuff so quick and they're only seven months old. It's nuts. But yeah, that's the one thing I just don't want them to be like on their iPads. And I know there's things like ABC Mouse and stuff like that, that, you know, you can do um, for the kids. I haven't really checked into it, but I keep seeing the commercials for it and I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Actually, um, uh, Jazz, Jasmine, she actually used ABC Mouse for her uh, first baby. Uh, so, baby, <laughs> honey, baby. What are you doing, man? Yeah, yeah man. Oh, thank you, my love. Yes. Bacon Gouda. Bacon. Bacon Gouda, look. You don't like it? Oh, it's so good, y'all. Bacon Gouda from Starbeezies, okay? I got... So many of y'all on it is delicious. That stuff ain't good. Anymore. He got the spinach feta wrap, his usual. Yeah, you guys it's know, it's, it's been probably since we had the babies, since y'all have seen us pick these up from Starbeezies. This, this ain't good either. Before the babies, huh? I said, this ain't good either. You don't like the feta, you don't like the feta wrap? I couldn't, I could not remember for the life of me the other option that you liked. I don't love it, you know. I'm just but eating. But you eat it. Yeah. Yeah, because every it, time it we would go to Starbeezies, yeah, he would buy, you know, but it's the healthier, one of the healthier options, you know. <laughs> He's like, Daddy, I'm not really feeling this right now. Look at that Buddha belly. Look at the Buddha the belly. belly. Give me the belly, man. Give me the belly. Give me the belly. Yeah, me Give me the belly. Yeah. 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 Oh, who was that? Oh, who was that? Uh, he looks like he's up to no good. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> he looks like he's up to absolutely what no good, y'all. You already know Jackson is gonna be a little, little menace when he gets bigger. <laughs> he's gonna be running all over the house. He's probably gonna be the harder to tame of the two. I think because he gets into everything y'all and he's not even crawling yet like he's trying to figure it out he's pushing himself backwards he's moving side to side like this is his body and this is the front his head he's moving like that way he's moving this way okay he's rolling over both ways and he's moving a little bit further back but he can't figure out how to push forward he's trying he reaches and reaches so we try to put things out for him so that he can try to push off his feet you know but the other part of this, I'm, not, I'm really not in any rush for him to crawl either, so I'm just gonna let him figure it out on his own. I am not pushing this one. I know we push tummy time because you know we got to. We got to keep them on tummy time so at least, at the very least, they can lift their head up. You want them to have strong neck muscles and to be able to keep their head up and keep you know their head stable. I'm in no rush for them to crawl because when they do, this is gonna be a whole nother household. You feel me? We're gonna have to, I mean, we already, I've already started to kind of pick up things from the floor and we have to start to really child-proof this house because this little man right here, he ain't gonna be easy to contain. And this little girl with all her little jumping and stuff, this little gymnast over here, I can only imagine what these little long legs are gonna do when they finally get to figuring out how to crawl and walk, so, you know. Okay, I'm curious. When do you think they're going to walk? What age do you think they're going to walk? Okay. I personally don't think by one years old they're going to be able to walk yet. What do you think, Juice? I, think I don't think so. I don't think so. I think will too. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think, will and Jackson, I think, I think it'll be a little after one years old. I think my one and Jackson will be walking. Yeah, and you know Jax is you know always trying to you know do something, move on to the next level. I don't know. We're going to see. Only because they're seven months already. So I'm like, well, dang, they haven't even started crawling yet. So when does that, unless the crawling happens and it's just like a transition like this. Y'all know, first time parent status. I really don't know. I'm just kind of guessing. I could be very well wrong. Okay. But I'm curious. I know you guys haven't seen Jayla's face. Her pretty, pretty face. Look at her pretty, pretty face. There's a bird in her chest. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, babe, do you blame her? Huh. Don't you like being buried in my chest? <laughs> well, she's always there, so I can't really. <laughs> she does take over. I can't really uh, <laughs> bury yourself in my in. parking space. <laughs> she did take over his parking space. Poor guy. Poor Jeb, as my mom likes to say. 
how y'all Haitians know what that means. I ain't Haitian, mm -hmm. so. Mm-hmm. Oh! That's what it means, buddy. You Haitian. So, hold Why? up. I know a lot of you guys are wondering too. Um, I've gotten questions about this and I haven't asked it. Um, answered, asked it, answered it. Um, a lot of you guys are asking whether mom speaks Creole to them or we're gonna be teaching them Creole. Um, Haitian Creole, you guys know we're Haitian. Um, well, he's not Haitian, but we are a Haitian American family, a blended family, okay? Haitian American, American. Um, but my parents are both Haitian. American. There you go. Black American. And there you go. And uh, anyway, so a lot of you guys have been asking if we are going to teach them Haitian Creole. And, oh my God, he needs so much Jesus. There you go, I was trying to take your food. Look, Jackson is a beast. Anyway, um, but yeah, um, I've been really trying to encourage my mom to speak Creole to my kids. It's something that I was praying that she would do with with um, with, uh, with Caden. She never did. So because she's so used to speaking English with Caden, she's doing the same thing with Jackson Jay. But what I have done is I've had her read to the kids in Creole. You know what I mean? As we have books that are in Haitian Creole, um, thanks to one of our fan band members. If you guys see any more books that are in Creole or French, French. Or an African American. What? Let me know. <laughs> what? Send them, please. Afro we would love that. Um, or tell okay. us where to find them or whatever. Afro um, juice. So, um, but yeah, because um, I do want Black them to learn French. French and I want them to learn Haitian Creole. So, um, it, and it's it's easy for me to forget to speak okay. to them okay. in Haitian Creole because I speak to them in English too. So it's just it's hard. I'm not gonna lie, because you know our household speaks primarily English, even though I speak to my mom and my dad in Creole all the time. You guys hear it all the time on the channel, and I have lots of family members that <laughs> don't speak English. So that's why I've been able to retain my Creole. I'm the only one of the four kids that really can speak Creole. By the way, my siblings really don't speak it. They understand it, but don't speak it. Jackson, no. These two right here. What are you here? doing, man? Hmm. And why do you always have my boy Nikki? Good man, he don't like having your clothes on. But all did he, he tell you that? How did he tell you that? Because every time he eats, he just throws his drink on him. All he does is he spill does. It. He does do. So I just, he just he gotta feed that. him with no shirt on. But for some reason, he thinks the shirt is, is his napkin. Y'all, I have to get this on camera. But this boy right here, when he gets done eating his bottles, drinking his mm -hmm. bottles, he chucks the bottle. Not sets it aside, not puts it on his, you know, lets it fall, not, he chucks the bottle. It is the funniest thing you will ever see. If I ever catch it on camera, I will, I will let y'all see it because I can never catch it on camera. It is the funniest thing in life. I always forget to turn the camera on when he's like right at the end of his bottle. But it's only when he's in his chair. When he's laying down or whatever, he just pushes it off of him. But when he's in his chair and he's drinking his bottle, honey, that bottle gets chucked. I'm talking about frum and just, or uh. It's the cutest thing, but the funniest thing ever. He don't play around. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, so yeah, I mean, we intend to. I want my kids to know another language. Primarily, even though Spanish is the language that everyone says, you know, is what people mostly should learn, you know? But I want them to know their culture. That's very important to me. So um, it's just hard. I'm not gonna lie. You know, we're human and we're in an English speaking household. So it's a matter of like making myself speak Creole to them. And um, you know, it is what it is, but they will know their culture they will know that they're Haitian they will understand that and I'm gonna do the best I can to make sure that they're at least learning French because I do want them to learn French if, if at all possible oh my god another thing I just was getting the comments back from a lot of you guys that were um, answering my question about this is us okay this is us if you guys are not familiar, was it if, you, good? if you did, oh my God, Juicy! I, mean, I didn't watch. He didn't finish though. watching the rest of the season, and so many of y'all were commenting like, "Wait, take your t take your uh, your tissues out. You're gonna be bawling." When I say I was bawling, but like Juice was totally asleep in the bed. I'm sitting here watching the remaining episodes of This Is Us. I finally finished the first season. 
y'all if y'all haven't seen this is us i think it's on demand i got it from my on demand so check on demand and see if it's there but it's called this is us and a lot of you guys are saying that it was renewed for two more seasons and i pray to god that it that's true and that it should be coming on soon i'm absolutely going to be watching it this is us is not just for people who have multiples although it does feature a couple who has multiples but it's a totally different type of situation i don't want to ruin it for y'all but when i say multiples it's it's not what you think it's not like just it's just not the show I expected. And y'all, it is so good. It addresses so many issues all in one, but it's not like, it's not too, it's not overkill. It's such, you need to finish watching it, Juice. You'll love it. It's good. It's good. Oh, it is? Oh my God. And he loved it. He was watching it and he it was, was loving it. Show, yeah. He just kept falling. You know, we would yes. be watching it after the kids would go to bed and it would be just late and it would be weeknights and, yeah, you yeah, know, and he was just tired, you know, so he just hasn't finished, but he needs to finish watching it. Like, it'd be good to get some, so good. It'd be good for me to get some sleep before I get up at six o'clock in the morning. So. Right. So I would just keep watching it because yeah. sarcasm <laughs> inserted. Oh my God. And then there's another thing. What was the other thing, babe? What was the other thing, honey? What? <laughs> What's the other, um, the one with the, the woman, the, um, the, the show with the woman? Kingpin, the queen pin. Oh, Queen of the South. Queen yeah. of the Somebody South. Back on TV now. Yes, yeah. and my, the, the, the t episodes have been taping on our DVR. We just haven't watched the second season. Queen of the South is a great show. If any of you all have not seen that, y'all need to get on that too. It is so good. Oh my God, it is so good. We just happened to start watching it and fell in love with it last season. The other thing, power's about to come on, y'all. I think it's in nine days, eight days. I cannot wait. Oh my God. That's another show. If you haven't seen it, it's on Stars. It's so good. It's so good. 50 Cent Show. Oh my God. So good. Lots of eye candy, too. Lots and lots of eye candy. If you just need a little eye candy, watch that. Well, Lala, is she on there? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> look at Lala, okay? Oh, and uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, what's the wife's name? Uh, oh, she's so cute. I forgot her name. Dark um, chocolate and, uh, yeah. and, and, and uh, her skin is just. And, oh. and the Latina. Her skin the is Latina, just Latina uh, jump off. No. What's her name, Jackson? No, I'm I'm salty at her. Even the though Latina jump you off. You know, people are attacking her and still continuing to attack her on her Instagram no, page. Her no, they it's attack her like, road. exactly. It's They're attacking road, her like man. she's real. Like Damn. her it's character a, is real to the point where she had to turn her comments off last season. Serious? Yep. It's a role on TV, y'all. She ain't doing that for real. Mm -hmm. Is she? Mm -hmm. yeah, she ain't doing that for real. Hey, Jack, she got to tell me They got to the point where you serious? They got, she had to turn her comments off on her Instagram post because yeah. people were like, B. I can't believe you would do this. Da, 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 da. They, and she's like, dude, it's a character I play. they attack the writers or producers? <laughs> get on them. She's just doing what she's told to do to get a paycheck. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Are they, are they, are they, are they uh, bashing 50 Cent for all the stuff his character's doing on there? No. 50 Cent killed his son. You're not supposed to be up telling people just in case people haven't seen it. Spoiler alert. I'm so sorry, y'all. Yeah, my bad, y'all. I didn't know if y'all watched. Dang, it. man, you messed up. I didn't watch it by now. I mean, they didn't know what, what he did. Are they are they trolling Fifty Cent? No, That's but who they get in her comments? I've seen him, and I'm like, wow. Anyway. Are they trolling Fifty Cent for what he did, Jax? Look, we're not gonna talk your ears off any longer. Oh God, we don't woke up, Jay. Oh boy. Say hello. Yeah, we're about to run out of film on this camera. I gotta empty it out. Okay, sweet pea. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna hang with the kiddos for a second, and uh, oh. I gotta empty out this cartridge. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look, we have 40 minutes to work out. 40 before the infant area closes, because life is just hectic with two infant babies and you work with the time that you have, right? So we're coming in here, we're gonna do a good cardio, possible light weightlifting session just to get in, right? And we're gonna get it done and over with. Juice is already probably upstairs ready to go and I cannot work out without music so I'm getting all this together. And uh, the kiddos are in the little daycare situation. <laughs> workout done, the quickest workout ever in life, but 
most of our workouts have been like that as of late, <laughs> which is why we're always so frazzled, or at least I'm always frazzled. I think we're, uh, we're good to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We got both babies, right? <laughs> Tweedle, Tweedle D. Well, Tweedle D, because he's first, and Tweedle Dumb. I had a couple people ask me on Instagram um, if I intentionally put Jackson on the left and I put Jayla on the right, like, I guess in the way that you guys would see it. Yeah, I guess it would be the way you guys are seeing it visually. But anyway, yes, there's a reason I did that because he was first born by one minute. So I always try to put them in order of, uh, you know, age. Right? Let's go get a protein shake if it's not closed. Yep, it's not closed. I'm about to get a little protein shake. It's a lot easier to carry the babies into the gym than it is to get them in their car seats and carry the car seats because they're heavy as I'll get out. All right, let's get some protein. Back home. Home, sweet home. Trying to kind of figure out what we're gonna do tonight because we have a sitter, but we aren't really too sure what we are going to do. Yeah, I have no idea, man. What are you in the mood for? Some good food, right? Hey, we, we could go see All Eyes On Me. I'm hearing mixed reviews, y'all. I was at the barbershop yesterday and uh, Didn't hear the some best people reviews. were saying it's kind of watered down. Some people were saying they'd rather see it on uh, Cody. Right. Bob. <laughs> right, right. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. But we I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm hearing mixed reviews about it. So let me know what y'all think about Yeah, comment down below if you guys had a chance to see. <laughs> So babe, so here's the deal. I gotta take a piss. Hold on, wait. Oh my God. So I'm gonna need you to be ready. Okay. I need you to take a shower. Okay. I need you to get dressed. Today? Yes. Okay. And I need you to be ready to go out for our date night tonight. Okay. Here in the next 45 minutes. Oh shit. Yeah, so can you do that? Uh, no, I'll do my best. If you could try, please, that'd be great. Take a glass of water. Yeah. So can you be ready for our little date night? Yeah. I have an idea of where we could go for our first destination. Okay. What do you think? Cool? Do you trust me? Sure, I mean, I ain't got no choice. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No choice. But look, I mean, look decent, you know, look. Uh, not that you don't look decent ever, but you know what I'm saying? All right. Like, this isn't a movie night. Let's put it that way. All right, all right, good. 